trainer at Mind Apples, and I'm just wondering, how's your motivation at the moment? I know mine's definitely changed recently, and I've been talking to a lot of people who said they're really struggling to get motivated. Of course, we're getting what we need to done, but quite often we're using willpower, which takes much more energy and just doesn't feel as good. The self-determination theory talks about three elements of motivation. The first one is external motivating factors, such as being paid or the threat of a deadline. Kind of the carrot and stick approach. And whilst this is important, for most people it's not the main motivating factor. The second element of the theory is intrinsic motivation. Why does this matter to me? It's a sense of fulfilment that we get from doing a task. And the third element is our ability to succeed. If we feel we can do something and we're feeling confident, then motivation comes a bit easier. At MindApples, we ask people questions in an attempt to boost motivation. The first thing we ask is, what motivates you? So I've had a think, what motivates me? And usually it's the intrinsic motivating factors that come up first. Why does this matter to me? And who else cares about it? The next thing we do at Mind Apples is we ask people which element's missing out of the three sections. Is it external, intrinsic, or your confidence and ability? If it's external motivator, then this is quite easy to deal with. I put in place my own rewards and goals. So even after making this video, I'm going to reward myself with a little break and a cup of tea. The second one, the intrinsic motivating factors, is we ask people to think about why this is important, why doing this task matters to you. And this is a really good source of motivation for most people. They think about who's going to be impacted or what will happen if they don't achieve the task. And the third one is ability to succeed. And this one's quite a challenge at the moment. The first thing I need to think about is why am I doing this task and what outcome am I trying to achieve? And my outcomes have changed recently, um, my goals have changed, my job has changed, so I'm trying to think, well, do I actually know what I'm trying to achieve right now? And so the first thing, the first challenge I've had is trying to figure out what exactly is it I'm trying to achieve. And then achieving it is going to be a challenge too. I'm working from home now, so normally when I have something to do, I'll go into um, somebody else's premises and deliver a talk or go to a meeting. But right now, I'm doing it all from home, so my challenges are, will the technology work? Is somebody going to ring the doorbell? Are my children going to interrupt me? So I've had to have a think about how I can deal with those challenges. And doing this has boosted my confidence and in turn boosted my motivation. So maybe you could ask yourself those questions. Or if you hear somebody saying they're not feeling motivated, maybe you could share this information with them. Keep checking in with us. We're doing lots of videos and tips. And we want everybody to be motivated about how they can look after their mental health and think about things they can do that are good for their mind. Music